Hey, this is Harris and Sundar here from C4E Tech and welcome to another episode of Ash Answers. Ash Answers is a show where we answer the questions that you ask on Twitter using the hashtag Ash Answers. Do you think OnePlus is doing right ending the production of 4, 3 and 3D, which was the best selling phone, even before OnePlus 5 launch? If you read it properly, OnePlus has just stopped production uh, for the 3 and the 3D. Uh, but they said in the email that they'll uh, the OnePlus 3 and the 3T will continue to be on sale till the end of this year. Uh, by that statement, I think they mean that they feel the stocks will last uh, uh, till the end of the year. Going by that, it's fine, I guess, because uh, they're gearing up for the OnePlus 5 launch. Uh, and uh, six months after the OnePlus 5 launch, I mean, uh, the OnePlus 3 and the 3T will still be there for about three or four months after the 5's launch. I guess that's okay. What's the best feature you have seen in a smartphone till date? Software and hardware device. What's the best feature you have seen? Um, for me, uh, in the software, I would, uh, I would say the split screen and the okay. pop-up window on the Samsung phones. Okay, so he uses uh, uh, S7, so mm. it's coming from that. What's what's your best feature? My be uh, favorite feature would be the portrait mode on the iPhone 7 Plus. Oh, it's both a software and a hardware thing. So especially the live preview, you know, uh, a lot of on a lot of phones I use the portrait mode. I mean the portrait mode equivalent feature uh, on the P9 Honor 8. Uh, there were times when I thought it would look good and the pic doesn't uh, turn out to be good, good good enough. So in the iPhone 7 Plus, I could actually view uh, real time whether it's gonna be good or not and then click the picture. So I like that part of the uh, software feature. And yeah, of course it requires the sec secondary camera. Uh, so it's a hardware and a software thing. Maybe you like the picture because it was it was taken from an iPhone. Yeah, iPhone takes quite good pictures. That's Do what Ash agree? told. Do you guys in, agree? Yeah, that's what Ash told in a lot of camera comparisons involving the iPhone 7. Okay. Why do you purchase gold variants for of phones for review? Do you think we purchase phones for review? I mean, we purchase gold variants for review. It's just that it's all about the availability. Uh, phones that brands give us, it's mostly gold variants. And even the ones we get, say we bought a phone from China, you, if only the gold variant is available, we need to uh, buy it as soon as possible to get you uh, the videos. So yeah. Best non-me phone under 10K. Battery life is main priority. K6 power. Yeah, I guess that's the only option available. Uh, when battery life is taken into account. So yeah, K6 power. Thoughts on the new GOT trailer? Will Cersei make it through this season? What do you think? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. I hope not. Do you think companies have started playing safe? No more innovative products such as Galaxy Beam, Galaxy Alpha, etc. So the answer to this would be uh, a question. Where is the Galaxy Beam? Where is the Galaxy Alpha? You know, uh, while I pick this question, Harris actually asked me, uh, what is the Galaxy Beam? Uh, so uh, what's the main function of that phone? So even he being on C4A Tech isn't aware of the, the phone. phone, that's phone, right? the kind of phones they are. So so you know why they are and uh, keep coming back. Uh, why brands don't make such products anymore. Uh, but innovation comes in uh, various other ways uh, nowadays. They don't come in these forms. So uh, we saw Moto playing with, uh, uh, what do you call it? Moto mods. Yeah, Moto mods. So yeah, there are there is innovation, but not in this exact way. When is that one time when you truly felt, gosh, I wish I had an iPhone. Be honest, buddy. You? You. You should start this first. Everyone wants your answer. <laughs> okay. Um, is it every time you see an iPhone? No, definitely not. Uh, I'm being very, very, very honest here. See, you know, because I'm working here in a tech channel, I have to keep switching phones, uh, you know, for reviewing them, for testing them. 
So each time I switch from an Android phone to another Android phone, I find it really hard to transfer the data as is, as it is. So, you know, with iPhones, backup is the best thing ever. Uh, you just have to connect it to iTunes and everything from your home screen setup, home screen setup to uh, app data, everything gets uh, transferred to the PC. And once you connect your new iPhone, say you get a new iPhone and you want to test it next, uh, you can just connect it to your PC and everything gets transferred. So it's just your, it's just a uh, copy, exact copy of your old iPhone on the new, new one. So uh, really hope I get to see that on Android. You know, it's kind of, kind of possible with uh, a rooted Android phone. Uh, there are apps for that, but uh, on a non-rooted Android phone, it's not possible yet. It's a pain to transfer everything. It takes about two to three hours and still I don't get uh, every everything from the old phone. So it's kind of annoying. So that's when I really uh, feel that I wish I had an iPhone. What about you? For me, it would be the when uh, iPhone had the 3D touch. Okay. I wish I uh, 3D touch came up in more phones back then. Okay. That was one time when I felt like I should have an iPhone. Xiaomi is also slowly increasing the price of its premium phones like OnePlus. Your thoughts? See, Xiaomi is a brand that doesn't rely on profit margins. They don't really uh, try to gain a lot of profit from the phones they sell. Uh, it's very minimal. So when uh, look at the Galaxy S8. Uh, the S6, S7 were sold at about $650, around the $650 mark and the S8 is now being sold at the $850 mark. It's because the price of the phone, the price of the components and the technology and the uh, work that goes into R&D, everything shoots up uh, with regards to price. So that's when they, and Samsung is a brand that, uh, that I feel doesn't uh, compromise on the profit margins. So you know, when brands like Samsung can do it, why not Xiaomi? Uh, Xiaomi being a brand that doesn't rely on profit margins. When, it's pri when the price of uh, the phone's components go up, obviously they have to uh, increase, keep, the price. Yeah, increase the prices, right? Even the Apple uh, iPhone 8, uh, we are hearing that it will be sold at around $1,000, okay. the iPhone 8, so, yeah. Why are we seeing Snapdragon 625 in all the mid-range phones these days? Because it's the best mid-range chip. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the best chips. It's power efficient and... Yeah. That's why we are seeing uh, Xiaomi going from 650 to 625 and even in the Mi Max 2, 652 to 625. What's the most regretful purchase that you have made in your entire life? I think I've said it before in uh, in one of the previous episodes and it's the Asus laptop. I don't even know the name. That's how bad the purchase is. <laughs> it's got two uh, full HD displays, one to the front and one to the back. So it's something that my dad wanted. Uh, it's just 11.6 inches. So he's like, no, this is not uh, meant for me. I need at least 14 or 15 inches. So it's laying around in the corner at my home. For me, the most regretful purchase would be the uh, screen protectors for the S7. I bought like three screen protectors in the first month of uh, S7 and everything came off. Everything came off in like two days. Okay. So that's the most regretful purchase. Why aren't our Indian brands like Micromax or Cellcon unable to provide bank for the buck? Hashtag where is Sundar? Sundar is right here. <laughs> Micromax and Silicon, what do you mean? They provide, they don't provide bank for the buck? What is he saying, man? They don't. Harris loves Micromax and Silicon <laughs> because of its uh, value for many phones. No. No? I didn't say that, I didn't say that. Okay, just kidding guys. Oh, even we have absolutely no idea. Just rebranding a phone like Ash says, uh, just uh, deciding where to put this thing on the phone <laughs> takes months and takes a lot of money. How is that possible? I don't know. I have a 30k budget, iPhone 6s or OnePlus 3T or wait for the OnePlus 5. OnePlus 3T. Okay. Or if you have patience, wait for the OnePlus 5. But it's not gonna be on If you're like me, uh, who would wait for phones 
forever then wait for the OnePlus 5. If you're like Ash who doesn't like waiting for phones, go for the OnePlus 3T. If you've been an iPhone user, Apple user for the past two or three years uh, at least, then yeah, go for the 6S. He's waiting for the iPhone 8, by the way. Oh, of course I'm waiting, but I won't get it. Why? Because I've been an Android user for a long time, now it's a pain to switch to iPhones and mainly because I'm gonna be testing phones once I come in full time. Okay. Probably. Probably. Uh, so yeah. Can't keep switching from iPhone to Android and back again. How brand factor affects Indian people's mind? You know how exactly it affects Indian people's minds. J2. They buy, yeah, J2, uh, Oppo, Vivo. Yeah. A lot of examples. Smartphones are improving every year in specs. Do you think we should upgrade our phones every year? Please answer. Not necessarily. Uh, See, that's what Ash and even me, we uh, say it in a lot of reviews. Uh, we don't uh, recommend single year upgrades. That's the only time we did that is the Moto G5 Plus. And again, because it's uh, it's not because the G5 Plus is a great, it is a great phone, but it's not because of that. It's because the G4 Plus was a mediocre phone. So yeah. Lenovo P2 versus Redmi 4 Prime in terms of battery life. Ash used both the phones and I guess he said both these phones offer kind of similar battery lives. But, but yeah, they have uh, a lot of differences like AMOLED, no AMOLED, a larger display and, and a few more differences. So yeah, uh, this isn't, as far as battery life is concerned, they, then these phones should give you similar uh, performance. What if we see a mid-range device with flagship build like display with 18 is to 9 ratio glass body? It's highly unlikely we see such a phone today at least because uh, those premium features are uh, meant for the flagship segment as of now. It's not even, uh, not even like all the brands have come up with such phones. Uh, iPhone, Apple has uh, Apple's yet to come with such a phone, HTC and, and a lot more brands so we need to wait till it becomes mainstream and then we can start seeing them in, on budget phones, budget or like mid-range phones. Like how dual camera was. Yeah exactly. Do you think OnePlus would give update for Android O after discontinuing OnePlus 3D? I am worried OnePlus 3 user. I think you don't have to worry because OnePlus uh, in their official statement said that uh, even though they, they are uh, stopping the manufacturing uh, of the OnePlus 3 and the 3T, they will still continue to support the, their devices, the, both the phones. So you don't have to worry, it will most probably receive uh, the Android O update. If the HTC U11 launches in India around 48K to 57 bracket, would you recommend it instead of the uh, Galaxy S8? If you've been watching C40 Tech for at least the past year, you wouldn't ask this question. <laughs> We don't recommend phones without testing them, mate. So, yeah, on on paper, the HTC U11 really impressed me. Uh, and just going by on paper specs, 42, 48 to 53 sounds okay, good. But yeah, there might be a lot of uh, things that we could find after testing. So yeah, uh, and I don't think we are gonna get the U11. Why is Xiaomi not giving up on flash sales? It's really frustrating. I think it's mainly because of the high, uh, high demand and yeah. low production. That's the only reason uh, they're going with flash sales. It's, I know it's frustrating, but we need to understand. When are we expecting phones with Snapdragon 660 and 630? 660, we could expect uh, phones with 660 in this quarter. And uh, because 660 is already uh, been handed to manufacturers so uh, according to rumors the Redmi Pro 2 uh, is coming with the 660 630 is yet to be handed on handed over to the manufacturers so we can expect them to expect phones with 630 to be seen in the next quarter according to rumors of course why do you think there has been not much of development in modular smartphones and why do you think people are not interested in it? Okay, um, see it's not like a PC. A PC, 
to 95% of PC users are gonna have the same sized uh, tower case, the mid, uh, mid tower case. It's not like that with phones. People obviously, since you know it's compact, we they prefer it to be compact. Uh, so modular phones. That's one reason why people may not seem uh, very interested in them. But you know, uh, brands are making an initiative. I mean, brand, by brands, I mean just Moto, uh, the Z2 Play. Uh, just for this sake, they were they are uh, slimming it down to five, uh, six millimeters and uh, reducing its, the battery capacity uh, on the Z2 Play. Uh, rumors are expectations here. First time leaving a car. So. Can you speak Hindi? If yes, speak something. It's for you. Yeah. Hindi nahi malum. What about you? Yeah, I can like understand Hindi. I can like speak Hindi. Not okay. Not fluently, but still I can manage. Yeah, me too. Not fluently, but still I can manage. Kuch kuch hota hai. That's a uh, title of a movie. You know that, right? Okay. एक गांव में एक किसान रहता था। I know Hindi guys. Okay, let me ask you a question then. No, it's getting late. We need to answer <laughs> like ten, twelve more questions. So yeah, let's move on. Uh, no, I'm gonna ask the questions. Okay, They ask. won't. Okay. Okay. आप क्यों टोक्यो जा रहे हैं? अच्छा, अच्छा. Next question. How are the AKG earphones which come with the S8? Uh, not sure if they are AKG earphones. According to the box, S8 box, uh, it says earphones tuned by AKG. AKG. But yeah, I get what you're asking. So uh, a lot, lot of you YouTubers uh, cribbed about the earphone. So I wanted to try it myself, and I was especially, you know, me being an audio guy, uh, and I was so excited once uh, Samsung announced that they'll come, uh, the S8s will come with AKG earphones. Which cost about hundred dollars. So yeah, I was really excited and I tried it. It was mediocre until I changed the buds. You know, my ears are big, so I tried it with a huge, the largest size. Uh, but then it was fine. I liked it. I really liked it. It's uh, better than almost any other uh, stock earphones that come with the phone. So yeah. What are your thoughts about Moto G5s and G5s Plus? What will be the price? Okay, so the Moto G5 S and the G. Oh wait, I think I did a video yesterday on this. I knew it. Yesterday I knew. or day before Here's yesterday. Here's a card. Here's a card. Okay, yeah. Why not? Here's a card. You know, I was actually gonna answer, and I just realized it. Okay. Everyone knows it's for the card. On C4 Tech, maybe in the future, can we see a drone review? In future, we can. You can see it tomorrow or the day after. If you. Can get us permission from the police or the government. Sad, because it's not even cleared the customs yet. So I don't think so. At least in the near future. Maybe in the future, if the government like gives permission to us. With Motorola coming out with so many new phones, do you think it's possible that many of them won't see Android O? I have yes. no idea, but I'm gonna have my fingers crossed and hope that. They uh, provide Android O updates because I trust Moto with regards to updates, but I don't trust Lenovo. Ironical, I know, but I don't know. The G4 Plus received the Nougat update as soon as, I mean, uh, really fast. So I'm expecting the same for all Moto devices. Let's wait and see. Fingers crossed, like I said. It's actually possible, but will Lenovo bring it? That's the question. question. Would rather work like MKBHD, doing all the work alone, or like Linus, hire people and split the workload? It's not about working like MKBHD or Linus. It's about how much work we have. If you look at MKBHD, he makes like what a few videos a month, then we make few tens of videos a month. So yeah, we need to split the workload. It's not possible for a single guy to make 50 or 60 videos a month. I mean, of course, I'm, we are not making 50 to 60. You know, we just started Tamil channel, so uh, expecting 20 to 30 there and 20 to 30 here. 
comes to around 50, 60. So yeah, you need to split the workload. Did you manage to get Google Play services on your Nokia 6? No, no it's impossible as of now at least. Uh, there is no way, so that's why uh, we haven't reviewed the Nokia 6 and we are actually thinking of selling it off. Uh, so yeah. Why not Samsung S8 Snapdragon 835 for India? Reason. Snapdragon 8895, Exynos 8895 or Snapdragon 835. Which one is more powerful? Samsung have traditionally uh, stuck to Exynos for India and Snapdragon for uh, US uh, globally, I mean, uh, most countries. So this has been the tradition. Uh, Exynos for the Asia, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Exynos or Snapdragon, which one's more powerful? The 7420 was more powerful than the 810, I guess. And again, the 8890 was more powerful than the Snapdragon 820. Yeah. And probably even the 821. So going by the recent track record, I mean, the keyword being recent, uh, I guess the 8895 uh, should be more powerful than the 835. Of course, that comparison doesn't make a lot of sense. We need to test them out side by side, but we don't have uh, both variants of the same phone uh, in our hands. So U Broadband Chennai has become far better than Act in terms of service and tariff, possibly due to Vodafone buying U Broadband. Yeah, could be. I don't know because for me, maybe it differs from one area to another because for me, right from the beginning, ACT has been amazing in terms of service. Uh, I call them, I uh, request them something and they, they come to my doorstep within 12 hours, 12 working hours and that's really amazing and uh, they also fix the issue, uh, whatever it may be. But uh, right, I mean, my home's just a kilometer from here and Ash, Ash is here and Ash isn't very happy with uh, ACT service. So I guess differs from area to area. Uh, U Broadband, I have no idea. Uh, I'm using U in office, haven't encountered, I mean, have encountered many problems, but uh, haven't really tried fixing the problems by calling this customer service. Maybe Ash did, I'm not sure, but I haven't done it. I, I, I would just wait till uh, the connectivity comes back. <laughs> That's. Uh, the usual way of fixing things. Next. So you don't fix things, you wait for things to get fixed by themselves. Even when it comes to your broadband. <laughs> okay. Two videos in two days by C4E Sundar. How is it possible? I don't know. I, no, I just uh, took a break from the world tour. So I thought I'd yeah. just come by and make two or three videos and uh, continue my world tour and yeah I'm going back tomorrow like you guys I didn't come for the office I didn't come to the office for like a week and then uh, I was surprised to see Sundar's video I was like <laughs> what Sundar is doing a video I tweeted it out actually <laughs> some sites like Banggood and Gearbest are offering MeFi for 15k is that safe to buy there yeah, Banggood and Gearbest are websites that we've been recommending to you guys for a long time now. It's, they are very reliable sites. Uh, as for Mi 5 at 15k, yeah, it might be 15k, but when it comes to India, you might have to pay a lot for customs. Uh, frankly, we have no idea how much you have to pay. It could be 1k, it could be 2k, or it could be 5k. I'm not sure. Uh, if you're having a bad day, then 5k. <laughs> So you need to consider that as well. How did you learn to use Adobe Premiere and other editing softwares? Any plans of making beginners tutorial video? See so guys, like Ash said in one of the previous episodes, we don't, we ourselves don't know a lot uh, to start a tutorial. So the way we learned, um, see Ash knew a lot, so I learned from him. I don't know how he learned. I learned from Sundar. Okay, yeah, that's how, that's the cycle, you know. Uh, Shahrukh has, uh, uh, Shahrukh's been doing a lot of videos in the Tamil channel, I mean he's just starting, getting started, so he learned from a lot of stuff from Harris. So learning, it's just a few basic things that can get you started. Uh, so it takes about a day maximum to get started. There are a lot of things that you, and from then you know it's things that you have to uh, fiddle with and learn. 
uh, nobody can teach you it's you uh, you have to search and you have to fiddle with a lot of uh, settings and whatnot fx etc and make your videos look better most of the time we see tutorial videos to learn yeah so at times yeah us making tutorial videos are <laughs> There I must don't... be a, a, a few tutorial channels uh, on YouTube. Uh, I've come across a few. I don't remember the name. Uh, if you want to know, I'll let you know. Justin Odisho, I guess. Uh, okay. I follow him. I I I see his videos for the editing and stuff. He's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do a C4E Tech best games video anymore? C4E games again, manpower. We don't have that much manpower right now. Uh, including myself, I, we don't have me. <laughs> okay. So uh, once I come in full time uh, around the June, July mark, I'll, I'll try to bring it back, bring the series back. I'll try. We'll try. Okay, we'll try. Soon to be accepted. Why? <laughs> they don't have to know it. <laughs> That's all the questions Sundar has picked for this episode of Ash Answers. Around 35 of them. Yeah, I picked like 15 of them. Okay. So if your question is that, it's probably, it's probably because, because I forced them to pick it. <laughs> because I picked it. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And vote it down if you didn't. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching. This, this is Sundar. And Harris from, from C4E Tech leaving for, for the, the moment. moment. Have a great day. Bye guys. In case you're wondering why Sundar is here, we brought him back from Tokyo. Why Ash isn't here? He's stuck in Tokyo because he didn't get a ticket back. For how much time did you prepare <laughs> to say this? <laughs> we, we have proofs. It will be here. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the semi ejector pin? Can't find it. That's it for today's episode of Ash Answers. If you like the video. <laughs> so that's all the questions that uh, we both I, I, picked. I to do it. Okay. Okay. We picked this. That's all the questions. Okay. Sundar has picked. <laughs> intro already. No. Mm -hmm. intro. No, no. No intro. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Ash Answers. Do you think Answers. I'm gonna let you do the intro? <laughs> we didn't have so a good intro. So this is a show which has two people. Yeah. I have to keep quiet in order for you to speak something. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I can do an intro alone too. Okay, you do it alone. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> You're gonna go to Tokyo again and we're gonna drag him from there again. Okay. Who on a world tour goes to Tokyo twice? You. Me. You. Okay. Sundar goes. Because we interrupted your world tour. You're gonna go to Tokyo and then start again. <laughs> That's all the questions we picked this year. This year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you know, these 35 questions are gonna be distributed uh, into like 20, 30, 40 more uh, episodes of Ash Answers this year. So that's like one question uh, epi per episode. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. That's all the questions we pick for this next year. <laughs> <laughs> so no. that discriminates. Harris discriminates. At least I pick 10, quest 10 or 15. I pick 10 or 15. He wants to pick just one. <laughs> Don't forgive him, guys. Don't forgive him for this. Okay, let let us no. know in the comments. No, I'm I'm gonna. Stop, okay, we will have a battle. Recording. We we will have a battle. Okay. No, nobody is interested. We'll have me. a poll. Hashtag Harris discriminates and hashtag Sundar discriminates. Okay, guys. We'll let them decide. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I forgot the pebble time steal. Uh, okay, let's uh, actually put up the budget VR card here. No, it's not gonna go live. There are like three more cards left, dude. Let okay. me add one. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye.